This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I export out fiber mesh curves so I can use the curves in another application? So here I just have the demo dog loaded in, and I've gone through and applied masking to different parts of the model on the areas I want to have fiber mesh applied. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over to the tool palette over here, and I'm just going to open up the fiber mesh tab, and I'm just going to turn on preview. Now, after you have preview activated, you're going to notice that all those masked areas now have fibers applied to the surface. So if I come to the modifiers tab here, I can change the different properties on the model here, and you'll see it update on those surfaces. Now, after you have these fibers set up to your liking, you may want to export the curves that are driving these fibers out to use another application. So to do this, the process is pretty simple. You first need to scroll down here and locate the Preview Setting tab and the Export Curves tab. So I'm just going to open up the Preview Settings, and then I'm going to hold Shift and click on the Export Curves to open that one up as well. Now under the Preview Settings, there is a Fast Preview button. Now clicking this Fast Preview button will allow you to view the splines on your model in a preview mode. Now with this mode active, you can come over to this pre-visualization slider here and change this, and it's going to reduce the amount of splines that you'll see on your model. So you can see as I go down to say zero, I'm getting a lot less splines generated, and if I go all the way to 100, I'm seeing every single fiber on the model. So this previs option here, along with fast preview, is going to determine how many of these fiber mesh splines get exported out from your model. So I'm going to set this to say something around six. So there we go, we got five. Now with this setting set, the next thing you need to do is just come to this button here that says export curves and simply click. Now this is going to tell you how many curves are going to be exported with your model and this is based around that pre-visualization slider that we were just changing. So this model here, with that previs slider set to 5, is going to result in over 2,000 curves. So if you're OK with that, you can just come over here and click OK, and now you're going to get an export window. Now in this export window, you can come to the bottom here, and there is a save to type option here, and if you just click on that, you'll see all the different formats in which these curves can be exported out to. So by default, this is set to OBJ, so this is useful if you want to import the curves into, say, 3D Studio Max. You have a Maya option, you have a LightWave option, you have a Moto option, and then finally at the bottom, you have a Fiber Mesh Guides option. So just come through and set which option you want, and then simply click Save. So now you can go into your application of choice, and if you import that file in, you're going to get these curves that you see on your model right here into that application. So if you find out you have too many curves or not enough curves, you can just come over here and change this pre-visualization slider again, and then simply go to Export Curves. It's going to tell you how many curves are going to be exported, and then you can just simply export out again. So that is the quick process on how to export out fiber mesh curves that you've generated on your model inside of ZBrush for use in other 3D applications. So I hope that helps. If you have any additional questions on ZBrush-related pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!